For those of y'all who do already know me, you probably know that Devin and I have such a long history together. We first met our junior year of high school. High school tends to add an extra layer of stress in our young adult lives that didn't always bring out the best in us. I am thankful to say that we both finally made it out alive and still together. I met Ross when he stumbled into my Sunday school class, um, we'll just say a few years ago. From then we spent uh, many nights playing pool and solving the world's problems. It's been an honor being a part of Ross's life through these chapters, including the chapter that includes Devin. seriousness these two could have not been more perfect for one another and Devin herself could have not put it into better words when she once told me that that Ross is the one thing that gives her anxiety but also the one thing that can take it away love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it always protects it always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres love never fails Hi, Devin. Thank you, Ross, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. So by the power vested in me, by the state of Texas, and as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife. Ross, you may kiss your bride. If there was ever two people that were meant to be together through God, it was these two right here. You met the perfect man, just like your dad. May it be. <laughs>